I think there are there are there's two schools of thought. The one are you people are crazy, yeah. but then there's the people who have the passion that you have and they recognize the passion and they love the business. It's a really hard business. It's very difficult to do this, and there's so many people required to do it. But for people that love it, how can you choose who you love? If you're going to be authentic, you just have to go with you have to go with your heart. You have to go with your gut. And then you hedge the bets by working with people who you respect, who who have already been on your path. When we first opened, it was mainly people who listened to the show, which was really exciting. It gave, and it was nice because we got a chance to meet people face to face. Whereas radio, it's all anonymous. It's a very odd entity where you sit in this tiny room, a padded walls on purpose, I'm sure, and you just talk into this microphone and to actually see your guests face to face is there's nothing like it. It's, it's so much better. One of the things I loved about Bologna is when you go there and have their ragu, the Bolognese, it's inspired by things that grow in that region. And it seemed crazy to come all the way to Dallas and try and bring those same ingredients here because they wouldn't be from the ground. So what we tried to do is be inspired by their methodology and create a, a Dallas-inspired ragu. And as you're looking at a protein that also speaks of, of Dallas and Texas, uh, the bison kept coming up. Uh, Dean Fearing is a friend of ours. and. Uh, he's really paved the way with a, a really a lot of great bison supply sources. So there's a there's a small farm and lot in Oklahoma. We get the bison from there. It's an hour and a half away. It's extremely local, and uh, we mix it with as many local ingredients as we can. Uh, we cook it in a, a Texas wine, a Sangiovese grape, which is an Italian grape, but it's grown here in Texas soil. And then we serve that on a fresh papa deli noodle, which we make in house every day. So. For us, it's sort of the it's the culmination of what's great about the methodology of Italian cooking, and also what's great about what's here in Texas. So it's kind of like old world, new world. If 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 sort of if, if you know if we were in Bologna, probably this is what it would be. It probably wouldn't be pork. It probably would be bison, and I think that's what inspired us to go that way. There, you know, there there is a lot to figure out when you start working together, and you're also a couple. I mean, there's a lot to work out. So it took us a little while to figure it out ourselves because it wasn't a natural thing, it was a learned thing. Like Jean had to figure out that I'm always right. It took him a couple years to get that. <laughs> and a few years later she came around and realized. <laughs> so how is it working together? How do you... Um... She loves it. She absolutely <laughs> loves it. I know, I feel like I'm being interrogated. No, we want the food to be the star of this restaurant. That's why it's not called Jean and Julie's Chicken Shack. We're here with the incredible an understatement, but I'll take it. <laughs> I love that.